So we continue with the second part of our test here. Uh, we still have here the list of a couple of different memory sticks here. Here's the one number three. One thing I noticed is actually that the type of fault constantly changes as well. Sometimes I need to reformat it, sometimes it loses the content, sometimes the data is corrupt. So there's no consistency with some of these memory sticks. We insert this one here and again we see a very common problem here which says um, that the structure is in, in, like not correct. Do you want to fix it? Yeah, we can fix that now. And the device was successfully scanned. Um, there was a number of things was corrected. And if we access here in computers, we see there's actually data there, supposedly. Um, properties, there's something like 272 megabytes of data used. And if I open it up, there's nothing there. So even if I go out here again, back to computer, if I try to reformat this memory stick, start, okay. Format complete, close, and it still says there is about five, about 200, sorry, go back to computer, right mouse click, properties. It still says that there is about 200 megabyte of data, 700 megabyte this time now, use space 700 megabyte. So it's got actually worse since I formatted the memory stick. So I go back here once more, I say once more again, format, quick format start, okay. Format complete. And again, like it does not free up this memory stick, just is something is core up with the file structure uh, with the system there. We could go to properties and use the tools, error checking. Four gigabyte, that's gonna be, well, we'll see how quickly it is. No problems were found, it says. Okay, close. If you go to properties, now it's back to 400 megabyte of use data. Let's try ejecting the memory stick. Eject USB drive, safe to remove. It's gone from the list. I unplug it and I plug it back into and we'll see what happens comes back up here. There's no data there whatsoever, uh, but it's used some space, 121 megabytes now used. Yeah. Um, again, if I unplug it or plug it back in, this constantly changes, and if I copy large data, the data on the memory stick as such gets corrupted. Um, I eject this one here now, save to remove. Here's number three. I'll put it to the others there and I'll go over and grab the next one from the list here. Uh, number four. Uh, very similar behavior. I plug it in and it immediately says something is wrong with the file structure here. Scan and fix. Okay, start. I open the Windows Explorer once more. I go to my computer. And here's removable FAT uh, memory stick. Again, it's not available at all. There's zero size information there. If I try to format the memory stick, Windows, Windows was unable to complete the format. So somehow it cannot read this memory stick. It does not know what it is about. I close this program, go back to Chip Genius. And it is listed as a four gigabyte memory stick, but somehow the the, the system something is is not correct in the file structure. So we check the number four. Safe to remove. I pulled the memory stick from the system and it disappeared from the list. And I put it to the other ones. Again, I'll stop recording at this point to